Now, the Italian Prime Minister will make a last-ditch attempt to reconcile employers and trade unions on Tuesday as he fights to maintain momentum on his labour market reforms. Mario Monti will meet with union representatives in the hope of persuading him, them rather, to back his project by the end of the week. Since he came to power in November, the Prime Minister has insisted the reforms are a crucial priority for the government. But the main employer's lobby has threatened not to sign a deal if he gives too much ground to the unions. Let's get more on this. And joining us now from Rome via Skype is John Wise from European School of Economics in Italy. Thank you for joining us. First of all, how big a challenge do you think it is going to be for Mario Monti to get these two sides to agree? Well, it is uh, definitely going to be a big challenge for him. The question is not so much if it's a big challenge, but if he's going to be able to pull it off. And uh, uh, although the, uh, uh, the discussions were quite negative or the position of the unions were negative in terms of uh, going ahead with the, with the agreements, uh, it seems that there should be some last-minute efforts and there should be some efforts on the part of Napolitano, the president of, the, of Italy, to try to convince the unions to go ahead and uh, eventually uh, sign off on this deal. So I think that uh, I wouldn't be... Uh, I, I'm confident that uh, things are going to be uh, worked out in the end. And, uh, and that we're going to find uh, a way out of this uh, crisis. Well, Mario Monti has made it very clear that he is determined to press ahead with these reforms, with or without the backing of the unions. But if he, if he were to do that without the unions uh, agreeing, how sustainable would that be? Well, it is not going to be that sustainable because although he uh, is getting the support from the majority, meaning the three major parties that are backing him up, uh, he is going to find a lot of uh, hurdles along the way, and uh, probably there's going to be a number of strikes and, uh, and, uh, and efforts, uh, or, uh, manifestations that will uh, block his, uh, his action. So I think he's trying to avoid that, and uh, in the end, I think that uh, we're going to find uh, a solution to this problem. And as far as the markets are concerned, since he came to power at the end of November, uh, there is certainly a feeling that he has gone a long way to bring Italy back from a Greek-style uh, crisis. It's important as far as the markets are concerned for him to get this right. Yeah, definitely it is important for the markets because he has made a promise to the markets. He said that he was going to bring home the liberalization package. He was going to bring home uh, uh, changes in the labor market. And uh, so he has to live up to the expectations. Uh, we, let's not forget that the end result uh, or what he's aiming for is to get an increase in the uh, foreign direct investment participation on the part of the uh, foreign investors. He wants to conduct a roadshow. And for that reason, he has uh, promised the unions, if they went ahead with signing off on this agreement, that he was going to take them along. John Weiss, thank you very much indeed from Rome for your thoughts.